Hey everyone, welcome to Freedom Farm. If you're new to this channel or you haven't seen our channel before, I really hope you enjoy our videos and that you'll stick around and watch our journey. Just a quick little backstory about our farm. We started this farm four years ago. I'm a soldier, my wife is a teacher. I have about four and a half years left until I can retire from the Army. And then my intentions are to run my farm full time. More about today's video though. So, as you've seen in the thumbnail, we are going to use a rotary hoe in order to help aerate the soil of our hay field, kind of decrease the compaction, at least at the top level, and help work the manure in that we've spread on our hay field throughout the winter. Before we get a chance to do that, we have a little bit of fab work that needs to be done. It shouldn't take us very long at all, and then we'll be out there hooking up to the rotary hoe and heading to the hay field. So come along with us. As you can see, this is solid, literally a solid two inch piece of metal. And it used to set like this and was connected. Well, we cut it in half so that we can sleeve it with this to extend the overall width of the bottom two uh, hitch points on a three point hitch. This makes it to where it'll fit in our three point hitch like we want. So I gotta make a couple of measurements real quick and we'll be ready. As you can see, these two are probably, I don't know, eight inches, maybe nine inches short of being able to touch or being connected in the center. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece of two inch inside diameter pipe, sleeve it over this and sleeve it over that one, weld them together, and then we'll put them back on the rotary hoe. Very simple concept. See how this one sets down in there perfectly? See how that one doesn't? Just a hair too long, so we're going to shave like a quarter inch off of this. I just thought about something. The hay field, the grass is still relatively tall, so I'm gonna make a quick pass right here in the yard just to show you all what this is actually doing. Pretty sure the camera will pick this up, but you see right here? So that's the deepest it went at one point, but for the most part, it looks like where it's kind of rubbed the most from the soil touching it. it. Looks like about an inch and a half deep. Now, if you look at the surface, you really can't see a whole lot other than I can see a hole here, hole here. So you have to really look. But basically what it's doing is it's aerating my pasture. Also, by opening that surface up, decompacting that soil a little bit. You, you gotta understand a little bit too that South Central Missouri, I can't go and deep rip. If I deep rip, all I'm gonna do is pull up boulders. I mean, we have a lot of rocks under our surface and it makes it to where something like that just won't work. Now aerating the surface, like we're about to do, that will work and we're actually gonna test that theory because we haven't done it before. However kind of going down highways, this highway right here, just because I'm taking up a good chunk of that next lane and I can only get over so far. But thankfully our hay field is not far away.
Oh, it's gonna be close. Woo. Inches. Now we're at the field and you can kind of see where we're going to go. And once we hit resume, it's going to show a little line, just like it does right there when I sit in the driveway. I want to get out here and go across this little water crossing because I want to do that area first since I've already done all of it for manure. And then over here, I'll figure out which way I'm going to go. Probably not going to get to see it on the camera, but it is throwing some chunks of mud, which is good. I'm not a big fan of these terraces, but we haven't taken them out yet. We can go fast too, that's kind of nice. as straight as we can. Get out of your way so maybe you can see better. And make sure we don't get the fence and we're good. Yet again, just wanted to kind of show how deep this is going. That's roughly about an inch right there. So we're somewhere between one and two inches because I can see there's a lot of rub all the way up here even. Uh, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. but So you can see all the way across there. We are, we are getting down there where we want to be. And you can see even here, where there's not grass covering it so bad, you can see what it's doing. It's just poking little holes everywhere, all over the pasture. And like I said, these aren't very deep, right? So, well, my fingers aren't gonna fit all the way down there, but roughly about an inch to two inches deep. And you can see the mud that it's kicking up. Now, what that does is it aerates the soil, lets nutrients get in the soil easier, and it'll break up compaction at the surface. Now that won't help with, you know, three inches deep or deeper. And like I said, we're kind of in a, we're not in a very good place for that because we have so many rocks in South Central Missouri in our ground that once you start digging past the, you know, two, three inches, you're gonna find a lot of rocks. And that's why we just don't do that. You'll actually see when people clear, you know, so like let's say that this was all forest and they cleared it, they won't do anything other than just disc it lightly. You don't want to do any tillage that goes down too deep because all you're going to do is pull up rocks and a lot of them. because I put a 15 foot implement and that is what it is. However, I'm not as smooth as say GPS driven tractor, so I'm gonna have overlap more than an inch. Very close to where it should be. I'm looking pretty good. We're gonna keep it. This bottom left corner here, it'll say your accuracy. Right now it's saying it's 31, plus or minus 31 inches, which is almost three feet. I get that, but it's not, you know, a lot, or not a little. I mean, that's a good size. It could be wrong up to three feet. But again, this is just to give me guidance to make sure that I'm not missing spots, because with this, I really can't tell where I went. I'm just guesstimating by where I see the last tracks from the actual track not the overlap of the implement. Random row in the middle. I don't have a row that's been completed next to me or on either side. And I'm just going to go straight down and then I'm going to start matching it on the way there and back and grow out from it. Just to see, you know, because like with the manure spreader, for instance, I can't turn tight enough, so I make a loop at the end. Well, some people have bigger manure spreaders than us, and they can't even do that, so they're going to go down here, and then they'll skip a row and go to the next one. So, we want to see if we can simulate that for them. Like I said, we're doing this. You see all the hay residue from the actual manure that we spread. There's sawdust mixed in there, sheep manure, sheep urine, obviously, in there, too. Uh, the sawdust pretty well absorbs most of the manure and the uh, urine. But what it doesn't do... We're going to start lifting that up so we can turn tight. 
What it does not do is it does not absorb the hay residue. And sometimes that hay residue gets clumped up. Our manure spreader is older. It's a Kelly Ryan. Uh, it's made in the 70s. It's just got one single beater. And that beater speed really needs to be turned up. And I gotta find some I gotta find some extra gears that I can make that happen with. Unfortunately, all of our fields are not square. The rectangles, which sure would make it nice, but they're not. majority of our uh, rotary hoe work done we're gonna grab the skid steer uh, you can't see it from here I'll show you so a couple of things need to go on over here number one we uh, basically signed a new contract with a different fuel company and that's their tank they brought it and dropped it off well I'd really like it to be over here over there I thought originally when I I don't know what I was thinking. Originally I thought I wanted it here, but I just don't. So I'm gonna move our old fuel tank out of the way, put this one in its place, and move that cage back over here where the fuel tank's at. the other one was there and originally when they described the footprint that was going to take I thought it was going to be a little too big and kind of be in the way because we have to swing in here and pull out this way in order to get the tractor backed up but it's going to work just fine. 